So it's this finger, right? Yes. We'll just uh, work with this hand then at the moment. So okay. we'll put that hand away. Yeah. And if you put this... We were at a community away. science day that they hold at the University of Nottingham. We normally uh, have children come and have a go at our system. And we stretch, do little illusions and tricks with them, including stretching and shrinking fingers, which they find really fun because it has a feeling like your finger's really being stretched or shrank. Someone's grandma wanted to have a go and she said, well, be gentle with me because I have arthritis. So I gently stretched her finger and she went, oh! That's really nice. Can you leave it like that? Because my arthritis doesn't hurt anymore. And I was shocked to start with. I didn't really know what to make of it. And it's only when I kind of then started looking at the literature and um, they found in other pain conditions, um, illusions can have a, an influence on experience of pain. Then I started to think that this could be, could have sort of modeled on something quite interesting. So if I remember rightly, you have pain in your fingers. And I think we did we stretch one of them. That one, the that one. one. You can't just bend down and put a sock on. You have to think carefully how you're going to do it with my form of arthritis. And fingers, my fingers are always cold and hurting and my dexterity has been reduced to no end and I can't open jars. So things that you normally do that you take for granted, you, you can't do. If you can, without moving your hand, can you stretch this finger to touch this book? Essentially what, what the machine does is it uh, takes a live video image of your hand uh, and then displays it using mirrors uh, set up in, in precisely the right place so that you see that video image of your hand in exactly the same location as your real hand. And Once we've done that we can then start manipulating that image so we can stretch it, shrink it, make it fatter, do whatever we want and if we pull or push on the hand at the same time, then your brain puts together the visual signals and the signals from your body uh, and tries to make sense of those and it feels like your finger is really being stretched or shrunk. Do they any different? Mm, yeah, I love it when you do that. <laughs> it feels so much better. I was very interested in how the, how the brain um, has an image of the body. And I was interested in the idea that you could maybe have pain management without drugs. Uh, we, we were excited when we, when we uh, uh, Catherine came over and told me what had happened and we, we sort of looked at each other and thought, oh, this, this could be big. And if we curl all the other fingers up, mm -hmm. and you just have that one finger sticking out. Mm -hmm. How does that feel now? That feels very comfortable and light and pain-free. Technology gets cheaper, faster and smaller and perhaps eventually we can take this big ugly machine and make a, a, a version that can be used by people in the home. In most, 85% I think of the, the participants we tested had some sort of uh, relief from their arthritis discomfort through the system. One of the reasons we're excited is because although other researchers have found links between how the body looks and the sense of pain in fairly rare uh, events such as phantom limb uh, pain and chronic regional pain syndrome, everybody knows somebody who who has arthritis and if we can help that many people, even a little bit, then that would be very, very pleasing, very exciting. When it was pulled outwards it felt fantastic. It felt stretched, no pain, comfortable and I just wanted to go away with it like that. Yeah, it's like yawning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's quite yawning. a nice analogy. Stretching out. And